Hello everybody, this is uh, Mary, an English lecturer in Kolkata from West Bengal and I have come with a very good news today that we are going to very soon begin the spoken English course. In this country there are many people who would like to reach to the people, those who are providing such courses and learn more but there are some hindrances and troubles in their life but here this is an opportunity where if I assure you that if you step one step forward we will take two steps forward uh, to reach to you guys and provide these kinds of you know opportunities and knowledge whatever we have and whatever we can do so let me quickly tell you what how the syllabus are segregated and how they are arranged okay and one by one please listen to it very attentively because this might you know uh, be very helpful if you understand the syllabus very well so that you can very well know what we are going to um, take up so the spoken English course syllabus is divided into five uh, it is divided into five units and first unit that is the root of English and that is grammar so in grammar we will be seeing parts of speech and now here we are not going to explain you what is noun what is pronoun here we are going to explain or we are going to teach that when we have to use these kinds of uh, parts of speeches when we are going to use these categories how do we use in our language where do we use okay which are very important today because if you do not know these simple silly things this is the area where we make the crucial mistakes and then we'll have vocabulary which is also known as word power because if you have more words you have more sentences to speak Tenses. Tenses is another root of English because without the knowing tenses, we uh, sometimes make errors and mistakes in our languages. Active and passive voice, direct and indirect speech, vowel and consonant sounds, article that is a and the, causative verb, conditional. So this comes under grammar. In unit two, we have L S R W, which is very very important because this this has something relating to practical which will be listening s stands for speaking r is reading and w writing listening speaking reading and writing next we have uh, unit 3 that is lab activities that's as i was telling you that practicals is more important than the theory because learning is very easy but execution you know executing it it takes some time and this is the room that is created to break your shyness to kill your fear and speak very fluently so in lab activities we have monologue dialogue speech group discussion extempore debate role play storytelling which all will be very fun and you will able you'll be able to speak one day unit 4 we have miscellaneous that are synonyms and antonyms phrases idioms one word substitution proverbs voice modulation and clarity which is the core of speaking okay which do not which changes your tonality while you speak and when you have better voice modulation that shows the that you know grabs the in, interest and attraction towards from the people in unit 5 the last unit we have documents that is how to prepare an article essay writing letter application so these are very beneficial for the students those who are studying in any standards whether it is school primary upper primary higher secondary and colleges too so these are the um, the segregations of and the arrangement of the units which i have arranged with you know uh, with so much of attention with a crucial way of you know keenly um, verifying it so that it is more benefic benefiting and beneficial to each and every candidate whoever is joining so get ready pull up your socks it's high time but i always say it's never too late whenever you feel it is important please feel free to join the class thank you keep growing and take care